Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Greetings crypto enthusiasts. Today we are covering how to set up Trust Wallet on your PC in 2024. Whether you prefer managing crypto assets on your computer or seeking more flexibility, join me as we go through the process of setting up Trust Wallet on your PC. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So, guys, setting up your trust wallet on your PC is pretty easy. The first thing that you have to do is to go ahead and open trustwallet.com. After you do that, you simply have to go ahead and choose download as an extension. So there is two options as you can see obviously. The first one is to download on mobile, which is not in our case, we don't want mobile. So we are going to go with the extension. So obviously, we go and click on download extension and we should click on Chrome since I am using Google Chrome. If you are using Brave, just go with Brave, Edge with Edge and Opera with Opera. So let's go here with Chrome and let me just remove so I can reinstall it for you and show you exactly how you can do it. So make sure guys when you click on or let's say that you want you didn't go through here, you went from the Chrome Web Store. Make sure that you have Trust Wallet here with this uh, Trustful or this mark, which is like created by the owner of the listed websites. So the publisher has a good record. So this is like basically uh, something that's trustworthy. So it gives you that like, this is the original owner of this tool. So this platform has one million users. So put that in your mind. As extra information that you might consider it uh, when you are searching for trust wallet in the web store extensions after you do that click on add to Chrome and click on add extension after you finish with that simply wait until it is finished with the download and the wallet should be added to your browser as you can see here they will give us this page right after we click on it so here we have these options, which is which are basically create a new wallet, import or recover wallet or ledger. This connects your ledger wallet. So here in our case, we are going to create a new wallet, and we simply here have to make our password. So the password has to be eight or more characters, at least one uppercase character, at least one digit, and at least one symbol. So let's do that real quick. Here we go and yeah this is exactly what i wanted now let me just redo the same thing and there we go so now i have read um i think there's something wrong there let me just fix it real quick okay this is perfect and click on next after i did that as you can see here improve trust wallet help to improve your wallet we only collect etc etc if you want to share your data i don't want to share my data at all and your wallet is ready to be used now we simply have to go ahead and pin it so we can find it here as a shortcut and click right here to open the wallet so got it and i'm ready to use the wallet now when you create your wallet for the first time this is how it's gonna look like now it's not gonna be uh, ready to be used yet since there is a process of things that you have to go through before the first thing that you have to do is to basically go ahead right here on this backup your secret phrase now click on it and as you can see they will give you a secret phrase with 12 different words this word has to be backed safely in a piece of paper or a USB key or anything that shouldn't be leaked or shared with anyone so here since we are using this video for tutorial sake this is why i'm going to show you this i have zero problem with that so there we go submit and this is basically my secret phrase so here i am going to simply cap save the image as download open the picture and i'm going to take it to the second screen so i can uh, go to the second process so the second process is basically going to ask us to simply write these words that were in the secret phrase so of course they should be in order so the first one for me is local then trouble then ship then adults which is here then egg 
then review, then dragon, then dove, then slot, then put, then enter, then chair. And just like that, we we'll click on next, and now our account is ready to be used. So now our account was locked when we didn't have the recovery phase, and once we did the recovery phase uh, and saved it, we have it now. So we don't longer have this message up here, and now we can start to send money receive money, swap coins, and buy and sell our cryptocurrency tokens. Of course, there is other tools for trust wallets, as if here you can uh, keep tracking all, all of your crypto tokens that you own and others that you don't really own. You can tr keep tracking on all of different NFTs that you own, the pricings, what kind of NFTs you own, etc. As you can see right here, and you can receive NFTs, for example, Simply just by getting the NFT address. Now you can also start earning. So you can have here, for example, stake. You can start staking. These are the APR that you will find. For example, there is for uh, all the different kind of these basically cryptocurrencies from Ethereum, BNB, Bitcoin Chain, Solana, uh, Osmosis. Uh, there is also Kava, Cosmos. So there is a lot of things that you can stake in here in the Trust Wallet. Here you will find the history of your transactions. So whenever you bought something, whenever you sold something, whenever you have swapped something or earned something, it will be uh, visible uh, right here in the history. Since my, since my account is brand new, of course there will be nothing in this list and the history will be empty. Here on the other hand you have the settings, so here you can literally manage all your wallets So since you can create so many wallets inside of your account So you can manage them all from here You can also change your network since there is networks different kind of networks on the cryptocurrencies So you can uh, change swap or even import your own wallet You can view here the connected apps so you can connect your wallet with other apps You can block here other apps you can swap language, you can even change the color mode to dark which is very very useful for your eyes. Here you will find a language, you can swap between English to any other language that is in here from Arabic, Chinese, French, etc, etc, etc. So there is a lot of things that you can actually get through here. And finally you can lock your accounts. So by locking your account, it is as simple as it says so locking your account it will simply lock the transactions will lock every single thing that you are doing within your account so it will be no longer uh, you will be no longer able to actually use your account anymore but as you can see my account is brand new even if I try to lock it it is still locked so uh, that doesn't really matter so yeah guys this is how you can set up your first trust account thanks a lot for watching see you guys in the next tutorial